Have you ever thought about the difference between love and friendship? I know I have. I was standing in the checkout line at the grocery store the other day and my mind was drifting. A woman and her teenage son were in front of me with their basket preparing to check out. They were discussing their day, having a normal conversation when out of the blue her son asked, when is Valentine's Day? She answered him with, it's February the 14th, I believe it's on a Friday this year. Why do you ask? He blushed and shrugged his shoulders, and then she asked, Do you want to get something for your special friend? Now he was beet red and said, Maybe. She asked him to go find something, adding that she would buy it for him. He was off in a flash and back just as quickly. It was obvious he knew exactly what he wanted. A little white stuffed bear holding a small box of candy with a message on it that said, Be my valentine. These minor and innocuous exchanges brought a memory back to me. I was six and in a new school. It was just a few weeks away from February the 14th, Valentine's Day. The new school was different from the one I had come from. Being very shy and struggling with reading, I was also struggling with making friends and feeling like I belonged. Following the Christmas holiday, the next big thing for a kid is Valentine's Day. The teacher had asked each of us to bring a shoebox or a box of the same size to make our individual Valentine boxes. We learned how to cover our boxes with different colored paper and make heart shapes out of folded paper. We also worked on special Valentine's cards for our parents, created with heart shapes and paper doilies. It was a lot of fun. A boy by the name of Jimmy sat next to me in class. We struck up a conversation while we were making our boxes and cards. We talked about all things kids talk about at that age. We even sat together at lunch and had a great time. It felt so good to have another kid to talk to and be my friend. I was really excited. I finally had a friend, one I could spend time with and not feel so clumsy around. Later on that day, Jimmy passed a note to me. When I opened it and read the note, I turned beet red. The note was simple and to the point. It was on a small piece of brown construction paper with a red heart in the center. On the heart, he had written, I love you. Be my valentine, Jimmy. I felt my cheeks warming up. Being six, I wasn't quite sure what to do with that. I was a bit confused and a lot embarrassed. To me, the word love was for big people, not kids. I quickly folded the note and stuffed it on my desk. I couldn't look at Jimmy. The school bell rang, signaling it was time to go home. I rushed out, got on the bus, never acknowledging Jimmy. I know it must have hurt his feelings. Valentine's Day was a few days later. I had ignored Jimmy most of the time. He had tried many times to strike up a conversation with me, but to no avail. Everyone in the classroom had put those silly, fun Valentine's cards in each of our classmates. Valentine's box, that was the rule. It had come to the time we were to open our boxes and read all our cards from our classmates. My mom, along with the other moms, had brought cupcakes and Kool-Aid to help celebrate the occasion. I had put a Valentine's card in Jimmy's box as he did in mine, but his was bigger. It was the kind of card my dad would give my mom. I know he must have been watching me as I cautiously opened the card. It was beautiful. The note inside said, I am sorry I hurt your feelings. I just wanted to be your friend, your friend Jimmy. I was so relieved that I gave him a hug and told him I wanted to be his friend too. We were fast friends for the rest of the year. That summer, my family and I moved to another state where my father had gotten a much better teaching job. I have always wondered what happened to Jimmy. I will always be grateful for his friendship at a time when I needed it the most. As the mother and son were checking out, collecting their bags to leave, the mother turned to her son and smiled. She handed him the bag with the bear inside and said, I know she'll really like this. 
The son smiled and said, Thanks, Mom. I really like this girl. As I watched them move on, I felt a warm feeling regarding their shared experience. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone.